G'day mate and welcome back to Factory Town with me, Jenny. So as of right now, the game uh, Factory Town is now available on the Steam Store in early access. Um, I would highly recommend that if you like the look of the game, go grab yourself a copy. It is, uh, according to the notes that Eric's already put up, going to be launching at $20, which I've got to say, $20 for a game of this caliber, um, it will provide hours of entertainment. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, I've played through the mid game like three times already. I haven't got to the end game ever, um, but it's it, it's been a, a pile of fun every single time. So I realized end of last episode that I've actually got 75 paper up here. The issue is it actually takes red coins, which we don't have any of. And our one little cart, which cart? that car where's that car our cart's confused it's that car you stop stop so our one little car is taking our uh, stone bricks to the general store to get red coins the issue is we don't have enough of them so we're gonna actually have him take them from the base because we've got 200 in the base and take them across there um, at the same time, we're probably going to get some more housing. Uh, four. Nope, that's outside the zone. Okay, we're going to get housing over here now. That'll give us a bit more room. And we can build another worker. I'm going to grab a wagon. You are also going to take stone all the way over there. Um, our... We've actually all out of raw stone. Our four little workers are putting it in here, but our wagon is making it disappear so fast it's not funny. So... I don't really have an answer. Um, more workers? Um, first off, more shoot. Okay, so three. We're going to build a shoot from there to there. You. On to the end. You. Oop. You. On to the end. You onto the end. I lost the worker in here. There he is. Knew we don't get uncovered eventually. So we're gonna have them do wood into the lumber mill. We are making planks at a really good speed. Um, 400. So 400's our cap, and we've actually hit our cap. Uh, we need leather. So what's happening to the planks we're making? Oh, it's going on a new stack. Okay, you, wagon, stop. You, wagon, take from there to there. Yeah. Uh, get another worker, I guess. Uh, you can take wagon wheels from there to there. Uh, build, paths, road. Get a little bit of road in there for our wagon. Oh, one, two, short. And I meant to look up between episodes how to set these. Let's actually really quickly. Uh, Alt cursor tab. Okay, we're going to look at that in a second. Uh, num one, two, three. So I know I've got different hot bars. Oh, next song. I didn't know that. That's new. L last time I played, there was no music. Um, in fact, half the graphics were, were, were placeholders. Um, okay. So, F1, F2, F3, F4. That's what I want. F. Oh, new structure unlock. So, our, our research is finally finished. One way, uh, a barrier gate, a cloth conveyor belt, a cloth conveyor belt, new research available steam power, new research available intermediate logistics. Conveyor belts are critical tools for automating your town. Place them on a building's output tile and resources will automatically be placed on them. And you can directly feed resources in the, any other side or level of a building. So you can actually build up the side of buildings, um, like three tiles up and have feed, things feed into the top of the workshop should we want to. Um, so let's go through our options. We want to get a cloth conveyor belt from our farm to our grain mill. That's definitely high on the list. Um, Cause I'd love to automate that. That'd free up like five workers or something. So, uh, cloth conveyor belt. 
and you can tell me what a cloth conveyor is. Oh, it's down the bottom left. Parts, cloth conveyor belt. So it needs cloth, which is produced by a workshop, and I have no idea what that is. So we need to get, oh, we've got a free worker over here. I forgot about him. All right, new research. Uh, forestry sounds like a good idea. And of course that needs red coins, which we're now actually making, now that we're shipping off lots and lots of stone. Uh, okay, so buildings, I'm gonna want another workshop. I'm gonna put this here. Can I afford more, bring more bay building? I need stone. You're stealing all my stone wagon. Come park over here. With lonely worker. Eight, uh, 12, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna build another workshop over here. We're gonna set a recipe of cloth conveyor belt. So it needs cloth, stone brick, and wooden wheels. We, we have wooden wheels at least. Uh, how do we make cloth? Select recipe. Aha, cloth. We need wool. Okay. How do we get wool? Uh, you're a pasture. You mean fertilizer. Okay. Buildings. Pasture. Farm. We can plant all sorts of things. I don't want to plant any of those yet. Wool. Okay, so it needs animal feed, water, and six seconds. Okay, so you are putting out animal feed. So we've got one material. Go back to F1, down a worker. You. Uh, new building unlock forestry and a tree planter. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to that. You go to there. Okay, so you're gonna output wool and fertilizer. Well, that's nice, we get two outputs now. What did we do last time? We just did fertilizer. Oh, this is two animal feed and two water to give us two byproducts. Okay. So we're going to need a worker. And we should be able to say both outputs. So I can either pick the wool or pick the fertilizer, or I can say both outputs into the barn. Uh, that'll give us the wool, the wool and the fertilizer. Now you need wool to make cloth. So buildings... Workshop. Might as well put it over here. Uh, you're going to do cloth. And then we're going to go worker. Nope, we hit our population cap again. Upgrade another house. Uh, worker. You're going to bring cloth into there. And you just need one cloth to, uh, one wool to make one cloth. Okay. Then you needed a cloth, cloth, wooden wheel, and a stone brick. Okay. So what are we up to? It's two. Okay. You are going to take. Stone brick. You're going to take stone and go back to there. We're going to want... Uh, control 2, Alt 2, Shift 2, 2. No. Aha, shift two. I knew there was a button. Okay, so we want cloth from there to there. That's one hell of a hike, but it needs to be done. Then we want... So you're, if I click this, it'll just get its, it, the inputs it needs from the closest building being here. And that should do us. If we go to three, 
we can build some no nope, four. Build some paths to speed things up. Um, the guy who's traveling all the way across the map, same story. Three, we'll build some paths so we can speed up his travel time as well. There we go. These guys have almost finished the grain. Once this grain's gone, which has got 21 in it, this guy's got 25. We should be good to go. It looks like any other workers we had here have gone and haven't moved off to another grain patch, have they? No, they've gone to the closest source of grain, which happens to be this far. Which, as we can see, is absolutely maxed out. Um, we could look at putting fertilizer in there, but we just don't need it yet. in that whole lot. We'll, we'll ignore the, the flatness of the terrain. But paths make them go faster, so we want them to go faster. As faster as we can. Okay, can I get you to go... No, you can only go to the end of the chute. Okay, so let's remove the end of the chute. You there. You there. Okay. So, this is giving us cloth. Back to number one list. No, we've maxed out our population again. House level two. Another worker. You, I'm gonna take cloth conveyor and put it in there. So, we've got one conveyor belt. Pars. Oh. Pars conveyor belt. I pressed the wrong button again. So, we should be able to take cloth conveyor belt out the front of this machine, like so, and cannot afford, I need more cloth. And we want to take it into this grain mill. Uh, cloth conveyor belt. Cannot build on uneven terrain. Okay, so what's the terrain look like? Uh, nope, pass. Um, tools. Terrain flattened down. Hopefully that's enough. Build paths convey from there to there. Then we'll rotate it. I'm going to side load under there. Then I want to come into the grain mill. But as I said earlier, you can actually come in at different heights. So we're going to build a scaffold block and tab for ramp. E to rotate. There we go. E and Q to rotate as well. We're going to build up. Oh, no. That's going to cut off their heads. They may complain about that. So we're going to come up higher. No, his heads are being cut off this time? No! Okay, so then we're going to go build... Cloth conveyor belt. No, cannot afford. One. You could do it, little guy. It's the fact that we've got a worker moving stuff rather than a wagon. Uh, build, workers, wagon, right there. So you're just going to get all the resources locally. And there was another worker carrying stuff back and forth. You. You. So I want you to take cloth belt there, and I want you to take cloth belt there. Which now means, hopefully that's fixed that problem. 
Not quite. Not quite! So close! Done! We've achieved our first very, very, very first real automation. So now you can see the output of this is actually dropping very, very fast because we're not relying on workers. We've actually got a belt moving A to B. And it now means that I can get all the workers. Okay, you're an idle worker. You're an idle worker. You're an idle worker. You're an idle worker. Is that everybody? Nope, there's another one. We, we've still got... We did have some workers go find the closest bit of grain, which happened to be our farm tiles. Uh, farming, mining, plant grain. There. Oh, really? Really? Which now means, unfortunately, our grain mill, who was being fed by workers as well, all this is now dead. Actually, you, I want you to do grain. You look like an idle worker. You're now an idle worker as well. You're an idle worker. And you have also become an idle worker. Now, the question is, will this guy ever get any grain for himself? No. Because uh, I need to replant the ones that the guy's ripped up. So, uh, paths, cloth conveyor belt. Just going to remove that belt for one second. This should fill up reasonably fast. Uh, farming, mining, we want plant grain there. Cannot afford. Now, I don't know if. These tiles are a finite resource, or they're an unlimited resource once they've been planted. I don't know. It was one of the one of the changes that happened, and I haven't played. Okay, so we can now put our belt, 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 back down there. That's you running again. You're going to output. You're going to make lots of food, which also technically means that we could then go with paths, cloth conveyor belt, from here, actually, no, let's not do it there. Let's build up. One, two, uh, actually, you have gotta go from your output. So your output tiles at the front. come out at the front. I have to come out at the front. I think we can come out that high. I actually don't know. Uh, build path. No, we're too, too tall. Okay. So structural blocks. Stuff until we get the right height. Um, okay, it's time I have more stuff in my quick bar. Build paths. Shift four. Shift four. Crap. Shift four. Okay. There. Nothing. Output. You. Stop. Go away. We're trying to automate things. No, that didn't work. Okay. Uh, building structural blocks. Uh, shift five. Shift five. Okay. So we're going to do four. One, two, 
do a five. Still can't output. Might have to be a ground level. We'll try one tile. Can't output. Okay. So, four. We now got flower on a belt. Okay, five. We'll do a tab for ramp. We'll rotate it. Rotate it, not the camera. There we go. Uh, block. No, back to four. <sighs> tab. Tab. That's probably high enough. Four. I present to you. Automated, oops, fire delivery. You can drop your flower off. Nope, I'm too high. Okay, you over here. Uh, five. Now, with me deleting stuff, I don't think it actually ends up in my inventory anymore, it's just gone off to the ethers. Uh, change the camera angle, five, four. Okay, now you'll get flower. No. Mm. Okay, let's try again. Uh, let's come up. That way. We have automated flower delivery as well. So, in our little quest of automation, we have freed up and killed off. Uh, you guys are finished with the stone. That's bad. Our next nearest stone is miles away. Okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. So, in our little quest of automation, we have freed up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten workers. Ten workers with the use of belts. Um, we've also got all these guys standing around because they're finished with all the stone. So, we need to probably access this stone next. Um, and we've unlocked forestry. So, we need to look at forestry as well. But they're all things we're going to do in the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching do hope you're enjoying factory town it is in early access as of today um i will be running a whole let's play series on it because it's such a cute little game i really enjoy it um and eric the dev has added so much in the last six months that it's it is almost like an entirely new game um so yeah I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying. See you in the next one. All right, bye.